Hey everybody, Dark Matter here, and as you can see in front of you, you have a spatula. This is a spatula. For real, a spatula. Is it kind of, you know, oh, scoop eggs, flip them over, scoop eggs and flip them over, baby. Scoop them and flip them over. Okay, well, although this is a very nice, very nice spatula, there's a problem with it. It's my favorite spatula. I like it because it's strong. It's not one of those flimsy bastards. All right, uh, problem it's broke the freaking handle broke so what we're going to do today is we're going to take this handle and we're going to get rid of it all right and we're going to bring in a new handle all right he's kind of dark but i don't know if you can how well you see him or not but this is a wood spirit I did about, I don't know, a week ago. I was just messing around trying out a new stain, which is, uh, I believe, oh, dark walnut. And let me tell you, this stuff is dark. This is what it looks like after one coat. That's one coat of this stuff. And, uh, man, I didn't want to put another coat on it. It was so dark already, you can't even tell the heck is going on so uh what we're going to do today is we're going to take him and we're going to turn him into a handle for this spatula all right stick with me okay first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to drill a hole in this all right now i know i know it is dark and hard to see and, and dark matters lighting sucks yeah but you know what we're still gonna try see but we're gonna try to put a hole right in there all right and as you can tell the bottom of this thing ain't very big all right about the size of my thumb all right so we gotta find ourselves a drill bit i think i got one here Let's see if i can get it out one-handed or not oh come on oh i tell you what let me set up my drill and drill this hole and I'll get right back to you okay so I drilled the hole uh, how well you can see that but I, I drilled the hole for this sucker and the spatula handle wouldn't fit in the damn hole all right well I didn't want to go too much bigger with this hole because well it would take away from the strength of the handle itself and even though it has don't have to be that strong I mean for Christ's sakes, this thing here, literally, 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 well, it won't fit in there no more, but literally, would only go in about that far. It was built and designed to frickin' break, for real. I mean, it, it was ridiculous. All right, but the handle wouldn't fit in there, so what I had to do was, as you can see, this part here was this size all the way down. Oh, I took a handy dandy pair of uh, vice grips and I put them suckers on there and I just slowly worked this down so that in fact here let me flip it over this will now fit in place okay handle spatula handle Special, see, it works great. All right, so now all I got to do is here. Let me raise you up a little bit here. A little bit more. I got to see that hole right there. That hole right there. I got to fill that in with something. So I'll be right back as soon as I find something that'll fit in that hole. All right. Well. I found something that'll fit I think we're gonna try it see what happens here and I know what you're gonna say before you even say it but let me tell you things have changed so let's see if it'll fit first yep you know it number two pencil and yes it will fit I'm gonna have to get back out first yes it will fit 
and it will stay once it fits because obviously it's not coming back out but what I got to do is I got to cut it down so let's uh, cut it down a little bit and I'm gonna make it just a little bit long so that we can get it in there and that that'll uh, that'll hold it in place all right and uh, I'll give you a history about the pencil if, in case you didn't know some of you, you people are younger you don't realize it but number two pencils back in the day when I was a kid anyway had lead in them and that's you know why people say it's pencil lead but there is no lead in this pencil all right um, I don't know if it was late 80s early 90s uh, it may have even been mid 80s but in that time frame they changed the pencils from lead to graphite all right so there's no lead in this pencil at all it's completely graphite um, so no danger all right no danger whatsoever and okay so let me mark this I need it I'm gonna cut it and get it ready and I'll be right back okay I'm back I got that cut and we're going to place this on there as much as we can I think we got that on there pretty good let me press that sucker down real good all right we got the handle on there Right now all we've got to do is fill that hole so what we're going to do is we're going to take this pencil and let me get it out. I want the other side in there and we're going to see about rounding that sucker in you know what I forgot you won't believe what I forgot what did I forget I forgot glue Got to get some glue in there, so I got to pull this back apart real quick. Just go work that back out of there. And I'm going to pound that back out. Yeah, that's my makeshift. Get in there where I can't reach with a hammer tool. <laughs> Little big old hook. Uh, ooh, it's hot in here. Making videos in the garage for you guys this summer is going to be a hot job, let me tell you what, because it's got to be 100 degrees in here right now. Alright, so I'm going to use this Gorilla Wood Glue, alright, simply because I know that it's safe for food, alright. Uh, if you read right here, it's water resistant, uh, passes. A N S I H P V A type 2 strong fast setting short clamping time dries a natural color no foam water cleanup non toxic no harmful fumes sandable paintable mildew resistant compliant with the FDA standards for indirect food contact works with radio frequency gluing systems formulated for hardwood softwoods and Natural wood composites, baby. Yes, for all your gluing needs, Gorilla Wood Glue. Hey, I'd make a good commercial, wouldn't I? Yeah, too bad I ain't getting paid for it. Oh. Hold the top right off there, boy. <coughs> Alright, so. Let's, uh. Let's, uh. Let's figure out how we're going to do this here. Let's get this up, and what we'll do is we'll get some get some sticky stuff on our finger here. We're going to lather that up real good. All right. Got that good and coated. We just need a little bit on this side. Don't have to be perfect because, well, we're going to put a bunch of it in there in a minute and press that in real good. All right, as you can see, some of the glue came out the top. I don't know how well you can see that, but I did right there. See, there and there. All right, now what we're going to do here is we are going to...
before it bunched down in there. Now that's going to squirt out all over heck, ain't it? Yeah, probably. But you know what? It's better to have too much than not enough. Alright. So. Let me get something to clean this off with. Uh, hmm. All right. All right, there you have it. That's on there, and I don't think it's coming off. We gotta let that wood dry, wood glue dry. All right, get it set right. Yeah, I don't think it's going anywhere. And now we got a a good handle on there that ain't coming off. I don't know how well you can see him. He's pretty dark. He's a he's a dark wood spirit. He's he's from the dark woods. Uh, good guy though. I I personally uh, I like him a lot. He's uh he's kind of got a a dark sense of humor, but they don't we all sometimes. All right. Well, we're gonna let this dry and uh, call it good. And that's how you put a wood spirit on a spatula, I guess, guys. So, hey, you know what? If you like the video, I know it's a short one, but if you like the video, hit that like button. And if you like what you see on my channel, maybe you want to subscribe. Feel free to. Uh, this is Dark Matter, Dark Matter Productions, and I'm out.